as the weather's changing this autumn and the winds are picking up and the rain's coming, there seems to be an awful lot of bees taking refuge in my kitchen. I built a flower garden earlier this year and I seem to have a new heart for these bees that have moved into my property. These poor bees were at the end of their tether and I seem to find myself giving them spoonfuls of jam on my windowsill. <laughs> I'm all for saving the bees. In the UK we've got a bee crisis right now. Apparently the, the bees are all dying off and we know that this is going to be it's going to be not great news for mankind because the bees, they pollinate 70 out of hundreds of our plant species. And if the bees die, then the plants die, the crops die, then the animals that eat the crops die. And if the animals that eat the crops die, then that's not, a bit, not, that's not going to be great for the food chain. And it all starts off with these tiny bees. Do you think God cares about the bees? He sure does. He cares about everything, even the lowly things of this world. And if God cares about the tiny bees, how much more does he care about us, his children, mankind? Psalm 8 verse 4 says, Who is mankind that you are mindful of him, that you care for them? Do you ever feel insignificant? Do you ever feel like just a, a tiny cog in a massive wheel? Do you ever feel like you're you're just, all you do here is just work, work and Nothing much else. Do you ever feel like you just come and go? You do the job, you come in and you go out and nobody really notices. Do you ever feel like you're just that person who comes into the church, sits at the back and slips out again and nobody really notices? Do you ever feel like you, you just come and go from your street, from your neighbourhood, from your community and nobody would really notice if, if you just weren't there? Do you ever feel like that person in your group of friends who just nobody would notice if you just weren't there that day? If that's how you're feeling today, then I want to encourage you that that's a lie. That you are so significant. You are so important to God. And you are so important to this world. God has you here for a reason. And he has a plan and a purpose for you. You are so important to God. Luke 12 verse 7 says, The very hairs on your head are numbered. So don't be afraid, for you're more valuable to God. John 15 verse 15 says, I no longer call you servants, because a servant does not know his master's business. Instead, I've called you friends. For everything I learned from my Father, I've made known to you. Isn't that great that Jesus calls us friends? Yesterday we learned that when we go to the Lord, we cry, Abba, Father, because he calls us his children. But Jesus is saying that he also calls us friends. How does that affect the way you see yourself today? Who's mankind that God is mindful of us, that he cares for us? So that's my message for you today. I just want to encourage you that if you ever face feeling insignificant or abandoned, know that your Heavenly Father longs to be in a relationship with you and draw you near. He calls you friend and he has a plan and a purpose for you in this world and you're so significant, just like the tiny bees. He wants to look after you and protect your purpose here. Father God, I thank you for today. I come before you in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that not only do we get to be your sons and your daughters, but you call us friend as well. I thank you, Lord, for calling us into relationship with you and that you care for us, Lord, and that you're mindful of us. Remind us today, Lord, of our identity in you. Strengthen us, Father God. Where we feel weak and flagging, come and fill us with the nectar of your love. Thank you for being there and watching over us, Lord God. And we speak to this day and we call it blessed, Lord God. And I just pray that we see your goodness and your glory show up in our lives today. In the name of Jesus.